Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Welcome to North Carolina Weekend. I'm Karen Reed. There are festivals that celebrate different aspects of our state's cultural heritage, but when it comes to music, one in particular stands out from the rest. It's called Merle Fest, and for four days, the campus of Wilkes Community College is transformed into a musical wonderland, unlike anything you've ever seen before. In 1988, famed North Carolina musician Doc Watson wanted to honor the memory of his late son, Eddie Merle Watson, with a fundraiser for Wilkes Community College in Wilkesboro. What came out of that desire has been nothing short of amazing. If you've never been to Merle Fest, uh, you're in for an eye opener. Oh, you got it all here. I mean, there's great food, great fun, you know, people are great, there's, the vendors are here, but, you know, mainly the music's what it is for me. During the last weekend in April, from Thursday through Sunday, both national and international artists converge on the campus of Wilkes Community College and are met by thousands upon thousands of festival goers for an event unlike many have ever seen before. I see a lot of people, a lot of different people, a lot of music. Merle Fest has been a way of life for me for two decades now. I was a big fan of Doc Watson for years as a child, and I knew Merle, got to play with them on occasions, and it was a terrible tragedy when we lost Merle, and when Doc announced that he was going to have a festival, everybody pulled together behind him. The music featured is what Doc and Merle loved to play, something they called traditional plus, meaning the traditional music of the Appalachian region, plus whatever other styles they were in the mood to play. Everything from progressive uh, acoustic music, to jazz, to bluegrass, to old time, to Celtic music, uh, blues, Americana. My goodness, uh, you can find most all of it here at Merle Fest. You always want to be in front of an audience that appreciates you. And our music is cowboy music, but we, we brought it out here six years ago and found out that people enjoy it uh, and that there's connections. And to find there's a connection with our type of music uh, out east here is a wonderful thing. That's because in Wilkes County, they say you can find a musician behind every tree. It's about our heritage around here. We have so much musical heritage in this area. Uh, if you think about it, uh, people's grandfathers, great-grandfathers, everybody in a family plays an instrument. Merlefest provides music on 13 stages throughout the four-day event. You can also find workshops located in tents where musicians can sit down with other musicians and do what they do best. Like I come and listen to the music and see all the pickers. Like if you're a musician, you can come and play with other musicians. So it's fantastic for us. They come to learn from us, but quite frankly, I think I might learn more from them than they do from me because there's a, everybody has a little something to offer you know, no matter what their skill level. So that's an exciting thing. When audiences aren't listening to music, shopping is available at the shops at Merle Fest. And of course, there's plenty of good food. Favorite food? Uh, Philly cheesesteak. Oh, I love the barbecue chicken plate. Okay. 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 <laughs> Alcohol is prohibited, so Merle Fest is the ideal family get-together. But at the heart is always music a tradition Doc Watson, Wilkes Community College, and this community want to carry on. It's one of the nation's finest outdoor music festivals in existence. It's one of those gigs that uh, it's, it's so much fun. It's hard to express, hard to put into words how much we enjoy it out here, how much reaction we get from the fans, and uh, um, you know, it's, it's just a great musical experience, I think for the fans and for the artists. For me, I, you know, I'm a music lover, a music aficionado, and just to preserve this kind of music, you know, for our generations to come, it's very important to me. It's important culturally because this is the way that we share our history and our family and our talents without sitting in front of the television or a computer. I mean, for a weekend, everybody gets away from all that, and we're really back to the roots of what life is really about. 
Merle Fest runs April 28th through May 1st on the campus at Wilkes Community College. For more information about Merle Fest and to purchase tickets, log on to their website, MerleFest.org, or give them a call at 800-343-7857. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.